Hi, and uh, welcome to the Biomechanics Education Golf Workshop video. Uh, to mark the occasion, I've got my uh, special St Andrews uh, jumper. I don't know whether you can see that, but uh, I thought I should put that on for the occasion. Um, we're often asked uh, some key questions about our golf biomechanics workshop, and so we just thought we'd run through some of the answers for you. Um, so the first question we're often asked is, what will be the key takeaways? Um, so uh, key, one of the key takeaways is that you'll understand the mechanics and the sequencing of the golf swing. Uh, another takeaway is uh, extrinsically, we'll be looking at the different types of swings and intrinsically what can cause them. So in other words, uh, compare what we see in the swing and why we see it, which is often due to restrictions and dysfunctions in the body. Uh, the program um, will discuss provides an evidence-based and uh, objective form of screening uh, and then we'll discuss um, key exercise interventions to help prepare your golfers for their round, which will, we hope, help improve their performance and reduce the risk of injury. Uh, but I think one of the key takeaways is the language. Uh, we'll go through some of the key golfers' terms uh, that they used, so, which will help you pitch your services and ideas to them using terms that they understand. Um, so an outline of the day is another key question that we're asked. Um, we look firstly at the golf swing and the mechanics and the language. Um, we look at the uh, intrinsic factors which affect the swing and how the swing may change based upon these factors. So for example, we'll look at how pelvic, shoulder uh, and spinal dysfunction commonly affects the swing plane and the shape of the shot. Um, as an example, we've found that um, if you have a right-handed golfer, with a dysfunctional right SI joint causing a functional leg length discrepancy, so for example the right leg being longer, uh, coupled with a stiff thoracic spine, there's a reasonably good chance that that golfer would typically hit a left to right shot, uh, and in a high handicapper he could have a pretty destructive slice. So we'll talk about that and we'll talk about how you can manage that. Uh, but much of the day is practical, where you'll be provided with the um, typical examples of golfers dysfunctions and then we'll work out together ways of screening for those dysfunctions and then look at the key exercise interventions that might help. Uh, so why is this an investment? Um, well, uh, mainly because um, uh, professionally uh, it'll help you sell your services to recreational and uh, professional golfers. Um, uh, you really need to understand their language and have a credible conversation with them. Uh, where they will listen and value your pitch uh, and which you'll be able to do after the workshop. Um, uh, professionally also it will enable you to deliver an evidence-based and objective screening program with exercise interventions to help you prepare the golfers for their round and to help them improve their performance and reduce their injury risk. Uh, personally it will help your golf irrespective of your handicap really. Um, another question we're asked is who these workshops are typically for. Uh, well, typically they're for anyone really wanting to have a better understanding of the golf swing and, and how to affect it. So that's exercise pros, um, therapists, golf pros and so on. Um, so I hope this has helped. Um, I hope it's helped you understand uh, the Golf Biomechanics Workshop and hopefully we'll see you on the workshop soon. 